But first, right now, George Zimmerman out on bail after another run in with the law. He was in court this morning to face charges of aggravated assault in a case of domestic violence. Good evening, I'm Kara Moore. Zimmerman, who became a national figure when he was charged, then acquitted in the shooting death of Trayvon Martin, was arrested last night at his home in Lake Mary. West 2's Matt Grant is live outside that home where the assault allegedly took place earlier this week. Matt. Well, Kara Zimmerman is accused of taking a wine bottle similar to this and throwing it at his girlfriend. George Zimmerman just can't stay out of trouble. Certainly anybody that's been through what he's been through over the last couple of years would benefit from some counseling, sure. Zimmerman was back inside of a courtroom accused of throwing a wine bottle at his girlfriend during an argument Monday evening. Lake Mary police arrested him Friday, charging him with aggravated assault. It's clear he hasn't been very lucky with the ladies the last few months. Zimmerman's attorney, Don West, who represented him during the Trayvon Martin murder trial, doesn't know what led up to this incident, but says nobody was hurt. No injuries, no contact, nothing that I'm aware of that led up to it. It's one of those things that somehow has brought us here. And I... In court, Zimmerman was handcuffed but calm, at one point even laughing and joking with a deputy as he signed paperwork. A judge ordering him not to have any contact with his alleged victim or travel to Volusia County where she lives. He also must surrender his guns. Even though there was no firearm unless it had uh, used in this offense, I think in a glance of caution, it would be best to go ahead and order you to surrender any firearms that you may have in your possession. I would... Zimmerman was released on a $5,000 bond. He didn't say anything as he walked out of jail. At his home, a vehicle believed to belong to Zimmerman briefly pulled into the garage, but nobody answered the door. Zimmerman faces up to five years behind bars. Neighbors can't believe he's in trouble again. You know, somebody with that kind of anger, you know, I don't know how he's out walking the streets. Uh, he, he has no regard for anybody but himself. He thinks, I think now he thinks he can just get away with anything he wants to do. It's, he's out of control. The guy's out of control, you know. He... And prosecutors wanted Zimmerman to wear a GPS ankle monitor, but a judge decided that that was not necessary. He'll go before a judge again on February 17th. Live in Seminole County tonight, Matt Grant, Washington News.